All right, guys, so today we're going to take a look at the release of the 16.2 version of DaVinci Resolve and three things that I'm really excited about in this current release. Let's take a look. The first thing that we're going to look at is DaVinci Resolve's new free sound library. In earlier versions, you still had the option to create your own folders with your own sound effects, but Blackmagic now has given us a collection of their own. Across the top, there is a button that says Sound Library, which brings up the window on the left-hand side. Yours should look like this, and all you have to do is click on Download. That will bring you to the Blackmagic website in a form that you have to fill out before downloading. All you have to do is enter your information, and then once completed, just click on Next. From there, read the license agreement, check the box on the bottom left, and then click the Register and Download button on the bottom right. It will bring you to a download screen, and you know what to do from there. Just find a place in your computer to store the file, and click Save. Obviously, the next step is to navigate to the program on your computer. Follow the steps, including where you want to install it, and make sure you remember where that is, because you will need to know that shortly. Once you're back in Resolve, go to the top right corner on the Sound Library screen, click the three dots, and then choose Add Library. Now you can navigate to where you stored the files, and then choose Select Folder, and then let those files import. In the search bar across the top, you can search for a keyword such as the word door, but you can also type in three asterisks and that will bring up everything in the folder. All you have to do is scroll down, click once on something that you want to listen to, press the play button to preview it, and then if you want to use it, you can drag it right into your timeline. The next thing we're going to look at is using the qualifier as a way to see where your selection sits on the scopes. Let me show you what I mean. Once you bring up your scopes, the first thing you want to do is go to the top right, click on the three dots, and then select display qualifier focus. Obviously you want to have your qualifier tools open in order to use this. If I hover the mouse over the woman's arm on the left and you peek at the scopes, the circles will show where that is on each of the scopes. If I hover on the bottom left, on the black for example, you will see the circle at the bottom of the waveform monitor where the dark luma ranges are. This could be good for saturation too. If I boost the saturation and hover over the man's head, you can see on the vector scope that area is more saturated than other parts of the scene. The last thing we are going to talk about is the support of 32-bit flow audio. I won't go into too much detail here, but just equate that to something similar to raw processing with photos and video. I will include links below to my friend Curtis Judd who can explain it more. So I have two clips here, one is 24-bit and the other one is 32-bit. Now you can hear when I play the 24-bit, it sounds distorted. He shoots, he scores! But when I play the 32-bit, despite how loud the person is, the sound isn't clipped. He shoots! He scores! And even if we were to adjust the sound levels on both, you'll notice that the 24-bit still sounds distorted because the information is gone. He shoots! He scores! He shoots! He scores! One last thing I wanted to mention is that this is a welcomed addition because previous versions of Resolve would exhibit the same behavior for both the 24-bit and the 32-bit, which I will show you here. He shoots! He scores! He shoots, he scores! Also, adjusting the levels doesn't assist here. They both still sound distorted. He shoots, he scores! Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out the video that's on the screen right now. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. And I'll see you guys in the next one.